So question 11 from the classified paper six, chemical reaction topic. Question 11, uh, a student is investigating a rate of reaction between the hydrochloric acid and sodium thiosulfate. What actually happened in this reaction when hydrochloric acid mixed with sodium thiosulfate? As a result, it will produce sulfur, which will be precipitate, and the text which is underneath will start to disappear. And if you use a large uh, conical flask, then the depth of a solution will be smaller. As a result, it will take longer time for the text to disappear. If you use a smaller conical flask, the depth of a solution will be more. So it will be difficult to see through it and the text will disappear quickly. So how this experiment is done, using a magic cylinder 50 cm cube of a thiosulfate was poured into a conical flask. Initial temperature of a solution was measured and the conical flask was placed on a sheet of paper with the words printed on, text, on it. Using the measuring cylinder 10 cm cube of a hydrochloric acid and then time for the printed text to disappear was measured. Then we did the experiment too. We used 50 cm cube at, uh, it's heated about 30 degrees. Then experiment three, we did heated about 40 degrees. Then experiment so we are we don't we did not change the amount of the reagents we just change the temperature and the calculate the average temperature and record the them in the table so this is a table just a minute i will zoom out then you can use in screen annotation to complete we need an average so how to take an average add these numbers and divide it by 2 so it will be 19 plus 17 divided by 2 32 plus 30 divided by 2, 42 plus 40 divided by 2, 54 plus 52 divided by 2, and 65 plus 61 divided by 2. And the time, you can see inside part is representing a minute. The inside part is representing the minutes and outside part is representing the So outside part is representing the second. So you have to use a screen annotation to complete. So 210, 111, 84, 66, and 54, and the average temperature was 18, 31, 41, 43, and 63. So I'll... So it was 18, 31, 41, 53, and 63, and the time was 210. 111, 84 seconds. This was 66 and 54. The next we have to use this grid and uh, plotter at different temperature with the time and the average temperature. So similar question as we did already a similar question related to this. So when the average temperature was 18, uh, 10 boxes equals to 10. So each box is one. So this will be 18. And 210. So this one is 20 and this one is 210. So this will be 18. The second one is 31 and 111. So 30. And uh, on y-axis, 10 boxes equals to 30. So each box is 3. So this one will, there is 90. 93, 6, 9, 102, 5, 8, 
11. And the 31 is there. Then 41 and 84. So this will be 41 and 84. Then we have 53 and 66. This is 50. And 63, 66 and three boxes. Then 63 and 54. So this one is representing uh, 54 is there. So two boxes below 60. Then we have to draw a curve for this, like joining the results. So as you can see, if you're increasing a temperature, it will take shorter time for the cross to disappear. For this one, you have it should be a freehand graph, like you should join the points with each other. From your graph, deduce the time for the printed word to disappear when from viewing when the experiment two was repeated using initial temperature 73 and the final temperature 71. So initial is 73, final is 71. So what will the average temperature? Because the graph is for average temperature, so average temperature will be 72. So what you have to do, you have to continue this graph because we don't have 72 on the grid. So what you have to do, you have to continue this graph until you reach 72, like continue the pattern. And when it is 72, draw a line. So this one is 70, 71, 72. We draw a line from 72 and work out how much time it is. So each box is representing 3, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45. So this will be 45. Is it uh, clear? So the shape of the graph, we, fo we follow the trend. Yes, we, were having, we were having these va values, but the 72 was not there. So what we did, we continue our graph, we follow the trend. As we follow the trend, from this trend, we draw a line from 72 and work out what is the temperature. Then a sketch on the grid, the graph you expect, expect if experiment was using more dilute solution of sodium thiosulfate. If you use dilute solution, what will happen? It will take much longer time for the... It will take much longer time. So Same curve, but up. Yeah, same curve will be there, but up. So the similar pattern, similar curve will be there, but it, it will be just above the original one. No, this is not about the, the um, this is not about amount of a product. This is about the time taken by the, if you are taking a dilute solution, the term dilute solution means like it will have less particles. So less collagen, that's why it will take longer time for the cross to disappear. Here in this one, we don't have a graph for time, tem average temperature. Uh, like we don't have the amount of a product. This is not amount of product. This is the time versus the temperature. So for the same temperature, it will take much longer time for this printed text to disappear. So the same curve will be there just 
above. Don't start like a common mistake student used to do when they want to plot a graph, like sketch a graph for lower temperature or lower concentration for this one, the time and the temperature graph. So they usually draw like this, that is wrong. Why? Because you cannot start from the same point as this is not the graph for amount of the reactant or amount of a product. This is a graph for time and temperature. So this at same temperature, it will take longer time. That's why the, the graph will be identical, but it will be above the original. And you should label that graph. Like example, if the part D is there, so we label part D graph. Then in E1, in which experiment one, two, three, four was a rate greatest. So how to work out the rate was greatest. The one which is taking a shorter time. So which experiment it was taking a shorter time. So the last experiment, experiment five, it was taking short time. It was about like 54 seconds. So it means the reaction was first. So experiment five. And then explain in terms of particle, why the rate of a reaction was greatest in this. Experiment five, we did at a high temperature. So if the temperature was higher, it means there will be more frequent collagen or particles will have high energy. So it was done at a high temperature. So as a result, the particles have high energy. And when the particles have high energy, there will be more collagen, more successive collagens or greater collagen frequency or greater proportion of the particle have energy more than activation energy. That's why the reaction occur at a higher rate. So more particle with energy, more than activation or greater proportion of the particle will have energy more than activation. That's why the reaction will be faster or more kinetic energy particle move faster, frequent collision between the particles. That you can also mention. Then suggest and explain the effect on the result using a burette to measure the volume. Look in this case, in this one, how a burette can be effective Overall, look, burette is more accurate in measuring the volume. It will be accurate to measure volume, but it won't affect the too much of the temperature. Because see, the idea is that the, the temperature as we, like example, the time for a cross to disappear, it won't have too much effect on that. On that. So a burette is used to measure the volume. The burette will be more accurate in measuring the volume. That is one thing. But overall result won't be affected by the burette. So idea is that the burette more accurate compared to measuring cylinder, but overall there will be no effect on the result. Like the time taken by the text to disappear, more or less it will be same. But if we use a 100 cm cube conical flask instead of 250, like first we were using a 250 cm cube conical flask, which was large having a smaller depth of a solution. If we use a 100 cm cube conical flask, it will have a greater depth. So how it will affect the result? If you use a 100 cm cube conical flask, so it will take less time for the cross. In this one, result will be not 100% same, but it will be approximately, not much big, big difference is there. Because like, if you measure the volume 30 or you measure the volume 29 points, so it won't make very big difference in the time. But this will make big, much big difference by changing a conical flask. Like not, you can mention, burette will be more accurate in measure volume, so very small or negligible effect will be there. Or no effect is a, a, right. For this one, 250 cm cube will have a smaller depth, so it is taking longer time. But 100 cm cube, greater depth, so it will take a short time for the cross to disappear. 